Hello there, my name is Richard from Silent Peak and welcome to this DxO Pure Raw 4 tutorial. Now if you would like to follow along with this DxO Pure Raw 4 tutorial, you can. And in the description below there is a link to a free Pure Raw 4 trial. Give it a go. So we're going to begin by processing a single image. And in this case we're going to go for my now hopefully world famous noisy photo of a bird. So new to DxO Pure Raw 4 is the process with preview mode. Now in terms of the technology, it's roughly the same as previous versions, but this time we sort of get to see in real time the effect of the changes that we've made. So we'll go into one-to-one -one pixel zoom so you guys can see what we're looking at. And here we can select between our two AI Deep Prime models. I suggest either Deep Prime or Deep Prime XD2. These two aren't quite so good. And what we can do now is we can adjust the strength of the noise reduction. So for example, if we dial luminance back to left, we can see here that the noise sort of returns. And of course, we can dial it to the max to the right. However, doing so raises the possibility of a rather sort of artificial wax-like photograph. Force details is exactly that. So basically we can dial it back. That will give us sort of a more blurrier image. At the same time, if we dial it too hard, it can sometimes look a little bit sort of uncanny and CGI-like. So again, as always, we're sort of looking for a sort of nice balance between the two. We can apply our optical correction. So here we have lens softness, so we can adjust from anywhere from soft, uh, which is what it sounds, it's soft, uh, all the way to hard, which again sort of looks a little bit strong for this particular image. So I'm going to leave it on standard. We can correct for vignetting, chromatic aberration and lens distortion as well. Now also new to DxO Pure Raw 4 is smart lighting. So we can export our images as a DNG, a TIFF or a JPEG. And when we're exporting our image as a JPEG, we can apply smart lighting. Now this is a really nice feature straight from DxO Photolab 7. What it does is it rebalances your exposure by boosting the shadows while making sure the highlights remain unclipped. And what makes this feature so nice is, is it increases the likelihood that we won't need to take our image and edit, any, edit it any further in a specialized photo editing application such as Lightroom, Luminar, Capture One, whatever it is that you like to use. Destination here, we can sort of specify exactly where we want it to go. Uh, we can create a custom folder, but by default, what it will do is it will save our enhanced copy right next to the original file. Now, the file rename, renaming <laughs> tool has seen a few improvements. So here we can see that we have a preset, which I've created. We can create many more presets. And we have the ability to sort of type in um, specific text, but we can also insert metadata. So if your photo is equipped with copyright information, location, or of course metadata, uh, such as the lens, focal length, we can add these properties into our composition and then we can sort of add our new composition as a brand new preset. Um, so basically you can name a file any way you like uh, and this is particularly useful if you're ripping your way through a large batch of images. Exporting, we have the option to do nothing or we can export our image into Lightroom um, with the original raw file or not. Now at this process we have our image, it's looking very good, so here we can see our original photo, we can see the DxO Pure Raw 4 processed variant, we can sort of bounce between having the sort of swipey line or we can just sort of bounce between a before and after. We have our zoom controls, so this is one-to-one, -one, two to one, and fit, which just presents our entire image as one 
sort of thing. And then we go to add to queue or process. So add to queue, basically the difference is, is that if we want to continue to work, we can do even when it's processing. However, when DxO Pure Raw 4 is processing your image, it will drain resources from your PC, slowing things down somewhat. How bad this is really depends on the strength of your machine and of course the number of images you're denoising. So now we have our queue and if we go to show queue here we can see we have our batch which in this case is just that one image that we've worked on. So we're going to get a little bit more ambitious now. We're going to hide the queue, we're not going to start it, but we are going to add a brand new batch. So we're going to go to my pure raw folder, I'm going to add all of these photos. So the objective here is to process every single one of these images in one go. Now, there's nothing to stop us using the process with preview, but in this case, I'm gonna to go to regular process files. I'm doing this just by right-clicking on process files, and that will bring up uh, our corrections and output settings. Now, in terms of the actual content, it is just the same as the preview mode. So we have our different AI models, the ability to adjust our luminance and force details, optical corrections, such as the lens softness, chromatic aberration and distortion, and so on. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to change these little bits because by changing it, it will actually save these images as a separate batch. So I'm going to keep lens distortion disabled. And then I have my output settings. And once again, we have our output format. We have the facility to apply smart lighting, change our destination folder and apply some kind of file naming convention. I'm gonna stick with these settings and hit apply and add to queue. Now, like before, I could have began processing immediately. I just didn't want to this time. So now we have two separate queues. We can see we have our first image right here and we have our separate batch. The reason why it's split into two batches is because the settings that we applied here differ from the select settings that we applied here. At this point we can sort of remove any particular image from the batch. I'm just going to remove one image and then another. But at this point I am going to begin all batches. So here we go, we're going to press play and we will see at this point our batches being blasted through. So what I'll do is I will fast forward this process because you guys don't really want to see this. And that's it, our processing is done. Now we have a few options. We can go to view results. We can go and see the files in Windows Explorer. This is a Windows demonstration. And we can sort of export to a photo editing application such as Adobe Lightroom, or we can select via a file path to our other favorite photo editing application. Here, we can double click on our image. We can have a look, see what it used to look like before and after. So let's zoom into our bird. Here is our bird before, here is our bird after. Quite a meaningful improvement there. And that is pretty much it. Now, like I said at the beginning of this video, you can try DxO Pure Raw for free. A 14 day trial, and there's a link to that trial in the description below. And if you would like to know a little bit more about DxO Pure Raw 4, you can visit my YouTube review. Alternatively, you can head over to Silent Peak, see my DxO Pure Raw 4 review along with samples and comparisons, or go straight to the top and visit my best noise reduction software shootout. If you like this kind of content, please do consider supporting my channel and subscribe, leave a comment and like, you guys know the drill. Anyway, my name is Richard from Silent Pig. Hope you found that useful and have a great day. Bye-bye.